Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a pregnancy update. Um, as you know, I did take a little bit of a break from YouTube. Um, so I do want to do some catch ups about this pregnancy just because I did go to the hospital this week because of this pregnancy and this has been a little bit more of a high risk pregnancy than my first one. So if people are going through it the same kind of as I am, just want to give them some type of insurance that everything is okay. I am going to try to make this one a little bit shorter and I know I have to cover a lot of weeks, um, but I do have like a massive headache that has not been going away and that's part of the reason why I went to the hospital. But I'm staring at a ring light right now and let me tell you, it does not feel good at all. And um, I have not done my makeup in a couple of weeks and I have not done my hair. <laughs> so this is the first time I have put makeup on just so it doesn't, so I don't look like death. And um, yeah, so let's just get on to it. So I think the last time I updated you guys was I was 25 weeks. So I'll do 26 through 28. Yeah, I mean, I'm 28 and a half weeks now. Um, but let's go ahead and get on to it. I am in my third trimester. Okay, I just had to go switch my batteries because the one on my camera was already dead by the time I got to the first symptom. But the headache is getting worse. I literally walked down the stairs to go get my other battery and I could see the ring light. So, like again, I'm gonna make this fast and easy and simple. So let's just talk about this past week and this was like 27 going into 28 and still continuing on I am not comfortable in any clothes besides leggings and a non tight shirt so that's why I am wearing what I'm wearing um, I've had a constant headache since last Tuesday and I just overall do not feel good so that's where I'm at when it comes to clothes. I'm not even trying to put on like non-maternity pants. I have only been wearing leggings. I put on maternity jeans the other day and I wanted to rip them off. So I'm probably gonna be ordering more maternity leggings exactly like these ones because these are my absolute favorite. So I'm at the time of my pregnancy that I'm going to the bathroom a lot more. So it just comes with pregnancy, but obviously like it's not, like I haven't noticed it before until like this past couple of weeks that I've been going to the bathroom like a lot. And it's only like a little bit out of a time. I don't know if it's because like where he's positioned, um, pushing around my bladder more in one spot compared to another. But um, yeah, I've been just going to the bathroom probably. I should probably actually like count and like actually see. I think it's like two, three times an hour, which is kind of ridiculous. He has been moving around a lot. He is very powerful. And I definitely think that he's gonna be a strong little boy when he comes out, which is a good thing because I'm probably going to go early, which I've already accepted the fact of and of course I pray that I'll go further on, but just with my conditions and everything like that, I'll probably go early. But, um, and I'll be shocked if I make it to 40 weeks. But his kicks are so powerful. They hurt <laughs> when he moves um, from like one side to the other. It's just, he's very powerful. He is one strong little boy. Let's talk about sleeping. And I have not been sleeping well at all for the past two weeks or so. I cannot get comfortable at all. My back hurts like crazy. I wake up probably, last night I probably woke up like five times throughout the night. And it was either to go to the bathroom or just waking up because I have to switch position. But I knew I did not sleep well at all last night. I, I knew I tossed and turned the entire night. And I'm gonna look into different ways to try. And so, sorry, as I'm yawning now, and it's only six o'clock at night, 
and here I am yawning like crazy already to go to sleep. <laughs> and then when I get into bed, I put my medicine in and then I take two to three Tums depending on how bad my acid reflux is that day. But it is part of the routine now because acid reflux is there. It's so weird. Like I, I wish that like it feels like if I throw up, it'll feel better, but I know that makes it worse. Let's talk about my belly for a second. It is massive. I look back on photos of when I was pregnant with Ethan and look back on videos and the way my stomach is now, I feel like I look like I'm 35 weeks pregnant with Ethan. And I know, second kid, you always show a little bit bigger. I swear this kid's gonna come out looking like a linebacker or something because I just feel like he's just gonna be this huge kid and he's gonna be way bigger than Ethan. So say a little prayer for my insides uh, and my labor. Oh no, if I make it to 40 weeks and I push out a nine pound kid, oh, help me. Okay. So let's talk about this past week because I did end up having to go to the hospital to get monitored. It's not because I've been having contractions or anything like that. It's, it's not because I think I'm going into labor, nothing like that. So my doctor told me to look out for certain things that were happening in my pregnancy to just call, let them know type of thing. Um, so one of them was swelling so my hands are so swollen and my feet are starting to get swollen to the point of like I had to take off my wedding ring and my wedding band and I do still have diamonds on my hand but they're fake. Um, I went out because I hate not having something on there and I wish I did this with Ethan and just like went out and got like a fake whatever engagement ring and wedding band. Um, I wish I did that but I didn't do it with him, but I did it this time. I just went to Kohl's, went to their like little section. I just got it a couple sizes bigger than what my normal size is. I think my normal size ring is like a seven or like a six and a half seven, I think. And I got an eight this time and they're, they're pretty like dangly. Like you can hear them moving around, but um, yeah. So my hands are swollen and my feet are starting to swell. And then um, I've had a headache that has not gone away since last Monday night. So it's been a week with this. And like sometimes I can get rid of it, sometimes I cannot. And by the time I hit Thursday of last week, it was just like unbearable. And then um, of course I have to monitor my blood pressure and I've been doing that. And it was consistently a little bit on the higher side uh, I think when I did it on Thursday, it was like 136 over 78, which is on the higher side of my normal. So it was consistently high for a couple of days. I had a headache for a couple of days. My swelling was bad. I had like the smallest bit of fever. Um, so I usually run a little bit lower. Like my number is usually like 97.3. Like I feel like that's like my normal. And when I kept taking it, it was like 98.8. And like, so I just, it just felt like crap because I just had like the slightest bit of fever. I wouldn't even think it was like a fever. It was like the smallest of like a temperature change in my body, which would be completely normal for other people to be like a 98.9 or whatnot. But for me, my body that is running high. And I wasn't having like any contractions or anything like that. And I let my doctor's office know that like I wasn't, I wasn't concerned about like going into labor type of thing, but they just wanted me to let them know when I had certain type of symptoms, um, like my hands swelling, like I said, and it's just like things that would lead to preeclampsia. Like they, they want me to monitor all these things. Um, another thing was that my heart rate was really high just sitting down. Um, my heart rate was like 140, just like sitting down. And that's, that's pretty high. Like that's high for even exercising for me. So I told them that and um, we ended up having to go into the hospital to get monitored. Not because of 
like thinking I was gonna go into labor or anything like that. They wanted to monitor me for like the high blood pressure and do some extra tests for like preeclampsia and stuff like that and try to see like what actually is going on. So we got to go into the new hospital, um, which was kind of nice, even though it was very inconvenient to go sit in the hospital for a couple hours to get monitored just to make sure everything's okay. But everything is good with the baby. Um, he's, he's looking good. His heart rate was good. And even with my difficult blood pressure, um, he was good. So we got there, got changed, spoke with the nurse and doctor there told him about my short cervix and you know monitoring my heart rate and my blood pressure and everything like that so um they ordered some tests to do for preeclampsia so they got some blood work and a urine sample um to test for preeclampsia to see um if i have it yet and as well as like check on the rest of my body to see like why I was pale as a ghost. I still had these headaches. I just, I was nauseous too on top of everything. So they did some tests. They did um, the protein urine as well. And then during this time, I told them about how like the Tylenol is not working to get rid of my headache. And I literally had all the lights turned off in the room because I can't even deal with light, which this is very painful for me right now. Um, to have this ring light in front of me, but it's not light enough in this room. Um, anyways, so they gave me like this other medication that would help with like, with um, like my stomach being upset and a headache. And honestly, that, that made me 10 times worse. I feel like it made my headache like intensify, like my eye wouldn't stop leaking from, from having a headache, my headache got worse. And then um, every time I would go to the bathroom and come back, like Michael's like, you're white as a ghost. Like, what is wrong? I'm like, I just don't feel good. And then um, they came back with the blood work and thank God I, I don't show like preeclampsia on the lab work yet. Um, so that's a good sign. But I was half of what I should be for iron and that's really odd to me it's not like odd in pregnancy at all just because like it just happens like your baby sucks up all of your iron that you intake but it's odd for me because i'm a meat eater like i eat beef like five out of seven days a week like I eat steak, I eat burgers, we like do ground beef, like in our pasta, like we do so much beef just because I'm not a chicken person. And that week I actually had like three steaks before I even went into the hospital, before I felt like super nauseous once it hit Thursday. And so that's, <laughs> that's where we are with me being super pale and feeling like nauseous and the headache, I think. I think the headache is coming from that at this point. Um, and then as well as there was a lot of protein in my urine. So I'm sitting here and I got sent home after giving, getting all this information and um, it's up to my doctor on what he wants to do. And I have a doctor's appointment this week and he said that we would come up with like a game plan if I have to get on iron supplements or whatever type of thing. But also when I was there, when I wasn't feeling well, my blood pressure dropped to like a normal. And then when I really wasn't feeling well, after they gave me the medicine, it was kind of lower on like I think it was like 95 over 50 something, which is, is pretty low um, for even like my normal. Like my normal is like 117 over like high 60s-ish. So I thought that was a little scary and I got sent home and told me to just go rest and then um, contact my doctor. And then when I contacted my doctor, he said when we come in on Friday, we'll come up with like a game plan and really look into the the test results but I got more blood work done 
on Saturday then as well. I did my glucose test, so I guess we'll find out if I have gestational diabetes too. Maybe that's leading to all of this. We'll see. Um, but other than that, I think that's kind of like all of my updates as of right now. Um, yeah, it's, it's scary to go into the doctors or go into the hospital this early, but um, I kind of have a feeling that's gonna be like the normal thing. <laughs> and it, I wish it wasn't, but um, yeah, but it's, it's just the best of to make sure that he's doing okay. And that's, that's okay with me. <laughs> um, another thing I wanted to say before I got up and showed you my belly, my massive belly. Um, <laughs> I started packing my hospital bag already, so that video will be coming here soon. As soon as I finish packing everything, um, I have a lot of things in his crib here. Actually, this is his crib. <laughs> I don't think I showed that before, but um, yeah, so I have a bunch of things in here that need to go into one of my diaper bags to put it in towards like the hospital for like the hospital bag. And um, I already made like a huge checklist and I'm about halfway done with mine. So that will come soon just because i think i am going to go into labor sooner so i just want to get everything done by the time i hit 30 weeks so i have one more week to do that um oh my gosh that just made me have an anxiety i have one more week to do that oh like a week and a half okay well i'll figure it out also i'm going to be doing some nesting videos too as well just because i want to get organized and get everything ready so when he does come, I don't have to worry about like my house being a disaster or not organized um, by the time he gets here. So I think um, once I get off of my doctor's appointment on Friday, I will do another update to just give you guys an update on my condition itself. Um, but yeah, that might be tied in with, maybe I'll do a weekend vlog this weekend. I don't know, we'll see. I'm not trying to like plan, plan out my videos right now. Uh, just because I'm kind of taking it day by day right now because I don't feel the best Honestly, as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to go take out my hair extensions wipe off my makeup go downstairs eat something and um, Watch Game of Thrones probably again. I don't know. We'll see but If you like today's video, please give it a big thumbs up if you um, haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel please do so because this has been one crazy journey and we would love to have you guys follow along and um i'll see you guys in my next video bye all right so this is at 28 and a half weeks i feel like i am huge <laughs> compared to what i was with ethan like it's it's so yeah he's gonna be a big boy for sure, <laughs> for sure.